By day, nothing special, but by night, it's cruising time. This is the Wiener Schnitzel Takeaway in Laguna Hills, Southern California. On Thursday nights, visitors get a free side dish of American graffiti with their hot dogs. riding in, Steve? I've uh, never known anything like it. It's a 32 Ford Highway with a uh, 525 cubic inch Keith Black. Uh -huh. This is actually a dragster motor. It's a top fuel motor that's been detuned for the street. Yeah. It makes about a thousand horsepower. Well, that's, <laughs> that's detuned. <laughs> and some of this styling is very uh, distinctive. Yes, it has it completely digital and um, the car is capable of about 200 miles an hour. And we think it would run the quarter in about 750s. Maybe really? 130 or 40. Well, that's faster than I've ever done. <laughs> well, we've Can we go the, and try it now? Well, the car would easily run 150, 160. Really? Just real quick on the freeway. Yeah. What year's your Corvette? It's a 1960. Uh -huh. And how long have you had it? I've had it 25 years. Loved and looked after and nurtured all that oh, time? Yeah. Part of the family. It's a 1954 two-door ranch wagon. It started out as a Mustang engine. It's been bored out to a 302 with... Uh, large cam, a racing cam if I wanted to race, but it's obviously too heavy a car to race. And a little elderly, many cruisers were granddad's first car. Forrest, this is one pretty Mustang, but what's so special about it? Well, it's a uh, GT. Uh, they made a limited number of GTs in 1966. Uh -huh. And... Uh, How the, long have you had it? Um, my son bought it when he was 16. And um, we've had it in the family ever since. Rick, with amazing paintwork like this, you must be really worried about people sideswiping you, mustn't you? Oh, yeah. It draws attention. People get too close to the cars you're driving on the road. In fact, it even attracts cars without drivers. We got rear-ended one time with a car that didn't have a driver in it. Um, somebody got out of the car, left the car in gear, and it took off and hit my car. Lots of gobsmacking cars, and every time I turned my back, another one drove up. <laughs> what is this? This is a Dodge. <laughs> yeah, but there's Dodges and Dodges. Uh, 1934 Dodge, it's a five window that was made into a roadster. As far as I know, it's the only one around. And what's this very much polished large lump at the front? That's a 671 uh, blower. It's got two carburetors and it's pushing about 500 horses. Regular cruises don't happen by accident, and this cruise was the brainchild of one person. Something I've always loved is the 50s, so it's something I decided to try. And with that, it was a very slow start, getting the cars to come out. Um, before you knew it, I had everybody coming out. One told another, another told another, and it grew into something very big for me, which is gone beyond all belief for me. Now Rich plays host to unbelievable cars prepared with incredible care by loving enthusiasts. Well, this wood looks as though it's been restored more than once or twice. What kind uh, of problems does that give you? A lot of problems. It dries out. Uh, water. You don't, you don't like, wood don't like water unless it's real varnished. Termites? Termites I don't like to talk about, but I have had my problems. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. And um, a little bird told me you've had a couple of other problems with this car too. Uh, yeah, it tried to run over me here a couple of months ago. What did you do to it to make it do that? Well, I'm building another car, so my friends keep saying that I'm bringing this new car into the garage and she jealousy. doesn't like it no more. I told her, I said, uh, I'll never get rid of her, so I'll, I'll always have it. And it'll always be cruise night somewhere. Right across America, there are hundreds of cruises every night. All it takes is a bright idea, a big car park, nice people with gorgeous cars, and lots and lots of lovely weather. 